I just have to here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Carl Franz going up against Durthu, where the order resolve says Valiant defeat, but I think we are so massively outmatched here, it's not funny. There is no chance whatsoever that our regular units will stand any chance against their deep wood scouts. This is a unit that dishes out damage really quickly, is in loose formation, the mortars aren't going to do very much against them in a regular situation. The shields will barely block them, because we've got essentially a full stack of just those units, not to mention all the other stuff out there. So in a standard hold your ground situation, this battle is impossible. So we're not going to stand our ground, we're going to do something a little bit different. What we want to do is something similar to what we did with the Nurgle fight, because that worked out really well. Alright, so let's jump in and see what we can do. In terms of the banners... Yeah, that's all fine. Alright, let's jump in and see what we can do. We actually do want to control large armies here. I want them to bring all their forces onto the battlefield um, as soon as possible, because I've got a plan. Now, while it's on legendary difficulty, so we can't see what the actual balance of power is, I think we're out powered two to one. I feel as though our army here is an equal match to Durthu's army alone. And Durthu's got another one of these armies in reserve. And we've just got two other um, arch lectors there. So that means that in order to win this battle, every single one of our units has to dish out twice their value against the enemy, which is very difficult to do against the Wood Elves because they're, um, especially on very high battle difficulty, when they've got additional cheats on top of that. Uh, they're a very versatile high damage race. Like, it's easier to do that against a race that has uh, a lot of slow units, lots of melee defense and not necessarily lots of melee attack. Or dwarfs! <laughs> but against the Wood Elves, it's very, it can be very difficult to um, go up against these sort of odds. Now, just to begin with, we're, we're not going to get out of this without using our army, but what I want is to not use our army to begin with because... The Deepwood Scouts will target them, and these guys don't stand a chance against Deepwood Scouts. So what I'm trying to do here is eliminate the Deepwood Scouts as best as I can first. Now, the only way I can think to do that is by getting these two guys here to blob them up as much as possible. Now, they will not blob up if they see regular infantry standing around anywhere on the map. But if they don't see them, then they should blob up because they don't see any better options. And if we bomb them with the mortars, we can get a lot of value out of it. And we don't have heaps of Winds of Magic, but we do have a Shadow Wizard, so we could potentially pop down a Pit of Shades. We've got Ulrika over here. I'm gonna put her in the forest here to begin with because the AI will target her with their missiles. Same with Karl Franz, but he can't be hidden, so I'm just gonna have to move him back a little bit. But they shouldn't target this wizard. Now, as for these two guys here, they're on foot, so they're not really going to be that helpful coming in from there. I'm going to bring them around this way. Now, it's going to take them five minutes to show up, but that's okay. I kind of feel like our initial fight here will take about that long. But if they, if it's not, I'll, I'll move that around as needed. Okay. So I don't mind them coming in a little bit late. So yeah, what I want to do is try to make sure that these guys here are only just within range of the mortars, and we just sort of bomb in this area. I want them to fight back to back. And just tank as long as they can against the um, missile units. Make sure that Carl Franz stands as far back as possible. These guys here should not be on fire at will. But yeah, if we, if we set up a defensive position, we have 0% chance of overcoming this. Absolute zero. The only way you could hope to win is if the AI was so stupid that they would just charge into melee. And I know we've seen some very stupid things from the AI recently, but in this case here against the Wood Elves, that's not going to happen. I think that's one of the reasons why the Wood Elves are such a difficult opponent. It's because it's um, their AI is better than other races' AI. Like, for example, one of the worst AIs is the Empire. Finding the Empire on the battlefield is ridiculously easy because the AI is just so bad for them. Uh, no, don't shoot just yet. Wait for the actual cluster to begin. Let's just charge them in. Now, obviously, there's a lot of dangerous units in this battlefield, but my biggest concern is the Deepwood Scouts. Charge! 
And there's an absolute ton of them. See, they're not too interested in engaging us just yet. We just give them no other choice. And they should start coming in in melee. See, what I'm hoping for with this is that they come in and then the army turns back around. Okay, they're starting to move in, but this needs to move forward now. Alright, now I want the Shadow Wizard to get Durthu's attention somehow and draw him away from this... Never mind, he's going the opposite direction. Okay. Okay, and we just want to fire at the ground right there. Good. Bring them all in. All your... <laughs> this is what I was counting on. Now, this happened due to them not finding easy targets elsewhere. And they're also programmed not to go and shoot these units here at all. Alright. So, I'm hoping we can manage to use up all of our ammunition here. And also inflict maybe 30,000 to 40,000 damage. After one volley, it's already done 4,000 damage, that's good. Problem here as well, at our maximum range, they're not very accurate. Which is why the bigger the blob, the better. But, so far so good. Alright, I'm not really liking that position so much. Let's put it a bit more over this way. Now, this here is just Durthu's Deepwood Scouts. Now, maybe the other ones are on the way, but I can't tell because they're stalking. But these are just Durthu's. So, at the moment, we've killed off essentially one full unit, since they have uh, 80 entities in each unit. And, of course, they're doing nothing. They, they can't do anything in melee against a single entity. Need to move forward a little bit. Looks like they're kind of moving back. Our guys will be coming in soon. Alright, I could use Pit of Shades. I think I will. If not overcast it. Since we don't need a lot of armor piercing here, they don't have much. Probably should have done it a bit earlier, but... I really wanted to count on the mortars, because I, I still need magic for healing. How'd you go with that cast? Not too bad. Not too bad. We're... Yeah, getting some of... Okay, you know what? Get over here. Because <laughs> um, the situation over here doesn't look, uh, look as friendly as I initially thought it would. Okay, stop. Alright. Yeah, you keep pursuing them. I'm not really sure what they're doing. It seems like they want to go and reform. I thought I told you to stop. But that's pretty good value. We just have about maybe a bit more than a third of our ammunition there. There's no reason why these guys can't pursue them a bit. But yeah, these guys being on foot's a little bit of a problem. So we've got some spells over here. We do have regrowth, but honestly, these two here are of less value to me than these, and we have limited amounts of magic. And it's actually way more important for us to dish out damage with the magic if we have to, as opposed to healing. Okay, um, just get this one to run them off the battlefield. I would use the Reich's Guard, but as soon as we bring out the Reich's Guard, they'll shoot at that unit. Okay, they're flandering around a little bit. That's good. That gives us time to pick at them. Because what we've got to do here is try to even the odds as much as possible before we even think about fair engagements. Because it's not a fair fight. Okay, let's try to bring them back over here a little bit. And just escort these guys here off the battlefield. Let's not worry about wiping them out utterly. Let's just try to win the battle. Got the Life Wizard over here if we need to. In fact, that wouldn't be too bad to put an Earth Blood over here. But like I said, I wasn't relying on heal magic. I wanted to focus on damage magic. I 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, just keep escorting. Escort whichever one's strongest off the battlefield. Unfortunately, it's a long distance to go. I'm definitely not in the mood to move our mortars forward because I have to withdraw them from the battlefield at some point. So I want them close to the edge. Right around here. But I'm pretty happy with how things have gone so far. I just thought that the enemy would be a little bit more aggressive. See, that one's rallied. I can't use Kyle Franz out here. They will shoot the shit out of him. I actually wish that he was on foot in this situation. If you're using someone like Kyle Franz and you're going up against like a, a huge amount of archers, consider taking him off Deathclaw because they will target him specifically and they will wreck him. That's not too bad. Okay, this is good, this is good. This is good. Stand your ground, guys. Alright, I'm going to bring the right guard out. That one's isolated. I'm going to go for it. Okay, you guys start bombing. Good. And since this guy gets in over there, I'll give you guys some healing. Oh yeah, we got some stuff here. Okay, if we can take out that Deepwood Scout with the Reichsguard, that's fine. See, one unit at a time, the Reichsguard can deal with. But if they go headfirst into a whole bunch of Deepwood Scouts, they'll get shredded. Good, get our buffs and debuffs in there. That one hasn't expired yet. Good. And we're getting some dryads in there now as well. A lot of value in there. It's almost got the sort of minimum threshold that I was asking for. Let's get you back over there as well. I may want to pop down another pit of shades. So far, it's a good start. But it's still out of our favor. But it's a good start. Alright, let's get some more healing in there. This guy here is no longer hidden. But that doesn't really matter. They're not really going to target him. Let's actually send him a bit more around this way. That's a problem because that's getting fairly close to those mortars. Ulrika, they will target Ulrika. We've got to be careful about that. Good. The Reichsguard did their job there. That's what, all I could really ask of them. This is a bit of a problem here. I need to get the Life Wizard to get his attention. Otherwise, we need to run away from Dothu. Especially these two. Death is so bloody strong. Come on, Dothu, come up to the Life Wizard. I think one of these guys might end up dead, if not both of them. Okay, we gotta pop down this, because I just gotta dish out damage to these units. Uh, you need to go and hide somewhere else again now, you've done your job. These two just keep running, keep running. Okay, Life Wizard, get his attention. Good, we're dishing out damage. And yeah, Dothu does not care that, li that Life Wizard is trying to eat his ass. He does not care in the slightest. Just keep running away from them. They can't actually... No, no, that's just... That's okay, you can maybe build a hand of that. Okay, I can't stay in this area that much longer. I think we can pop down another one of these. Thirty-six thousand damage. Okay, this guy here managed to get out of that big clusterfuck of a fight. Don't throw him back in because he's badly damaged. I might heal him later, maybe. All right, actually, bomb into. The Bomb there. No, bomb here. Deep, lots of Deepwood Scouts in there. That's the ones we want to be going for. Some of our guys may get killed. I just... Sacrifices that have to be made. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. But that's what happens when you get into a ballsy situation like this. Alright, I want to try to draw some units over this way. Unfortunately, if any Deepwood Scouts come out this way, I won't be able to see them coming. Come on, bomb. 
fuck it. If you're not gonna bomb, I will. Okay, there was a fucking hero shooting in there. I didn't like that one bit. Yeah, that dude there. We don't have much magic left. Alright, if I do this, then I'm not gonna get any more, um... Get back, get back, get back, get back. Not gonna get another, uh, pit of shades. Alright, car friends, get in here. Alright, let's actually know. Let's get these guys out. Let's get them out. Alright, that Deepwood Scout that was over here is pretty isolated. Let's, let's hope it's still there. Let's get Carl Franz out of here. This guy here has done the best he could with 40,000 damage. Cool. Alright, Ulrika, get out. Pull these ones out. And let's try to get around the other side now. There it is. Go, go, go. Go in there. Remember, we're specifically trying to focus on Deepwood Scouts. Okay, I've got two heals left I can do. And this one's got just a little bit of ammo left. We're aiming for Carl Franz. Okay, the Reichsguard got it. Good. So I'd say for the Reichsguard to do its worth, it needs to take out three units of uh, Deepwood Scouts. Good, they left the battlefield. Get these guys out of here. None of the arch lectors have been killed yet, which is great, but don't you dare lure enemies over this way. Just get, just get, rid, get rid of the, this guy off the battlefield. It's too slow to keep up with us. Alright, the mortars have done everything they can. Get them out of here. You may leave now. You may leave. I've still got a little bit of ammo left, but they've, they've caught up to us. Alright, another unit of Deepwood Scouts killed, having only done a marginal amount of damage. We could also use the healing on the Reich's Guard. Would you fucking stop that, bitch? Okay, we've got to get all of our guys together, try to get some healing in. Alright, um, Ulrika can do some skirmishing as well. Let's, let's try to get this guy hidden somewhere. I'm going to have to withdraw that guy from the battlefield, I think. I don't have a choice. Okay, they're mostly chasing after all this stuff over here. The mortars left the battlefield. I was very happy with how that went. So far, I think this battle's gone really well because we haven't lost any units. As in, no units got wiped out. Oh god, bits and pieces around over here. They're still doing a lot of damage. I know they don't do heaps of armor piercing, but they're still very dangerous units. I need to get them on the attention of Carl Franz instead, because at least Carl Franz can kind of dodge them. The Reichsguard can't. Get them out of here. Put them somewhere else before they get wrecked. If I can get rid of all of their missile units, I'll feel a lot more comfortable about using the rest of our army out here. You just keep running. I'll keep you on the battlefield as long as I can. How about you come over here, and we've got a few units that could use a heal. This guy here could heal, but I think it'd be better to heal Carl Franz, considering how much value he has compared to this one now. It's actually not much value at all. Still got these ones here we can use. Yeah, you. Done very well. In fact, if we had a full stack of Reichsguard here, I'd actually feel pretty good about this battle. But that's obviously not the case. God, even all the after all the damage we've done, still playing uh, Lizama music. That really instigates to me just how outpowered we were. I'm also aware that I'm not firing at will with with her yet. Okay. Let's keep moving. Alright, if you could just... Hopefully they'll forget about you, but if you could just... Uh, go back into the forest over here. See if anyone follows you. Alright. Now, Ulrika, let's see what we can do with her. Now, if she takes some damage, we shouldn't use life magic with her. We should try to get her to run down broken units. Alright, let's get started at shooting stuff. And honestly, we should prioritize the missile units. Because they're going to be the biggest problem, the highest damage dealers for um, our infantry when the time comes. Blade guard, hagbane tips are a bit of a problem as well. I've only got one more heal spell I could use. Follow my lead. Seeking a 
Well, it's good that they're not trying to shoot at her yet. That's good for us. Alright, we got... Hmm. Let's just see how this plays out. This is actually working out pretty well for us at the moment. <sighs> Freaking homing shots. Actually, let's get Carl France to tank a little bit of that. I don't think I can get at that guy because he's in amongst all their other units. But he'll have more missile resistance than Ulrika, I think. Yeah. Because, yeah, you can dodge these other ones, but I can't dodge the, the Waste Orcas ammo. Just want them to prioritize Carl Franz. I got one more heal left. Which I definitely want Carl Franz to heal as well, but he's at full health at the moment. Actually, you know what? Why don't you go take out that Dryad? So, she's inflicting a bit of damage. She doesn't have tons of ammo. But yeah, at this point here in the battle, if we brought our army out and fought these guys, I'm still worried we would lose. Even despite how well that went. Like, that went better than I expected. I kind of knew this was going to be a high effort battle. We were never going to walk out of this one easily. Now, they've also got a life wizard as well, so they're probably going to heal their um, tree kin, which is kind of why I want to target... The Deepwood Scouts, I suppose, because they can't heal dead units. Alright. If, if we can have these guys connect at exactly the same time, that would be really good. Yeah, there's that bloody waste orca shot, which is really hard to dodge. Alright, let's go get another heal. Well, we can only heal four units, no sense in healing the wizards, since they're basically spent. All they are now is a little bit of a distraction. But you can even help as well. And... I guess Carl Franz is not going to get the heal this time. Stop shooting. And here's my last cast. Okay, still can get a fair bit of value out of Ulrika. I really didn't want to have to use the life magic on her, but at the same time, I can't get in there and run down broken units that aren't broken. So get out of regen. Alright, let's try to get around again and maybe do a bit of a loop. Specifically targeting... Actually, why don't we get Ulrika to go around the back and see if we can target stragglers. I should maybe do that with Carl Franz as well. Okay, so this one here ended up doing not that much damage, but more than the Deepwood Scouts did. That was still a, a good trade-off for us. And as for Durthu, eh, I think shooting him right now would be pointless. Let's charge into melee here. No, 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 no. They'll start shooting at us at point blank range. That's actually a very stupid idea. I nearly fell for it. For that. I think this guy here should try to hide in there. Hopefully they. He won't give away the position. Especially if these guys here move around, they might just forget about him. Because he's not that high value. But I want to keep him on the battlefield to preserve our balance of power. So that we don't get adjudicated a loss. Or we adjudicate them a loss a lot earlier. Also, I'm not shooting. <laughs> um, it's trees in the way. Alright, okay, start shooting. Alright, there is an isolated one of these dudes over here. Let's see about taking that out. Yeah, can you come out and help out as well? I'll waste that ammunition if I absolutely have to, if I feel like I need to, but I'm not quite at that point yet. Yes, 
Yeah, Ulrika, run that down. Don't shoot at it. And get a little bit of hunger. Every hit point counts. Nice little snort. From the horses. Okay. If it's broken, good enough. Let's get around it this way. So she is rich. Oh, what the f oh, It was that bloody Waystalker, I bet. Still out there. Yeah, it's still out there, that motherfucker. Oh, shit. 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 <laughs> shit. I, I may have blundered. He, he should actually be able to be that. Don't give away this position. He hasn't given away. Alright, good. <laughs> shit. Okay, we're going back around over this way. How you doing? How you doing? Can you... you reckon you can fight her? Yeah, you can fight her. You're doing fine. Good. Man, that was close. We gave away our position. I mean, my fault I gave him that order. Good. They seemingly are wasting a lot of ammo trying to shoot Carl Franz. That's good. Really, really good. Okay, draw them back around here. That's working out well. This guy, try to hide in there. I don't want anyone chasing after him. But he's such low down on the totem pole now that I don't think they really care that much about him. Which is exactly what I wanted. Music just changed. Good. That gives us some hope. Still, they've still got quite a few missile units in there that I want to take out because they absolutely shit all over our missile units. And we need time to take out these monster units. And if we're too busy trying to shoot units in loose formation, we're not going to be able to have time to deal with their monsters. So just get her off the battlefield. Alright, Rika, you go around this way. Uh, you... Go over there. Right, leave. Make like a tree and leave. <laughs> okay, I think that one's gone. Good. And now they're sending another one over here, which that's... They're sending their wizards to fight an arch lector. That's pretty stupid of them. Alright, Carl Franz is still in pretty good shape. That's good. I don't think they've got any magic left, otherwise they would be healing. I would assume. Alright, looks like... They want to send someone over here, maybe? It's fine, keep them around over here. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to send Kyle Franz around over this way. Trying to get shot. And see about killing that hero. Because although that one doesn't have that much, like, combat potential here, it still has a lot in terms of balance of power, and it's, I can basically kill it for free. In fact, we, we should send the two warrior priests over there as well. Okay, Ulrika, you just shoot it, whatever. So, she hasn't done that much damage. And that fucker came back as well. Yeah, you move over that way. Alright, looks like we got a clean shot of that. Yeah, maybe I could just leave that one there and they'll send like one unit at a time over there. Unfortunately, if they send Deepwood Scouts, I won't know until they're actually right on our door. And it's very close to the rest of our units, which is very dangerous. These guys aren't regening by default, are they? No. Okay, good. So it's not wasting our ammunition, even though it's not going to do that much damage. Well, she's dead. Good, stop knocking her on the ground and actually dish out some damage, that'd be nice. Okay. Good, this 
fucking asshole here is finally out of ammo. Yeah, he's done a fair bit of damage. I want to kill him. Alright, we're getting shot again. Let's get out of there. The others can stay there a bit longer, but get Carl Franz out of it. Because, yeah, they are aiming for Carl Franz. I really didn't want to have to waste these guys' ammo, but I haven't had any opportunity to go after them without also fighting Durthu, which would be a very bad trade-off. Okay. I didn't quite uh, kill her, but I don't think she did much damage either. No, she didn't do any. So that was a good trade-off. How much ammo do these guys have? Not that much. It wouldn't be too hard to waste their ammo. I just don't like doing this anymore. So you can see that they've still got a fair bit of um, missile power. About as much as what we've got. So it did end up just wiping out all of our missile units, and then we got nothing to deal with all their monsters, because we need our guns and our archers to deal with these tree men. These guys here aren't going to be able to do anything about it. That's why I've put in so much effort to try to get rid of these missiles. Alright, Ulrika ran out of ammo. If we could just get a broken unit, she can suck their blood. These two guys here should be fine to fight those wild riders. Like, I'll take a little bit of damage, but that thing's already just about gone anyway. Oh, they did send someone a Blade Deep Woods Scout over there. The thing is, they're not going to shoot this guy, they'll go straight into melee, so it's not so bad. And yeah, even just like, eight deep wood scales, getting rid of that, is a big deal. Especially if it's for free. Okay. Whoops. We didn't want to stay there for that long. I think this guy will rally, because he's just terror routed. You can tell from the skull. So a terror routing usually lasts about ten seconds. Yeah, he'll come back. Now, Durthu has to be shot if we want to beat him. We cannot rely on going into melee with him. He's too strong. Even with Karl Franz. Karl Franz doesn't have any anti-large. But on the other hand, the Treekin, that's a piece of shit. But they're very tanky, though. Mm. Alright, how about you get Durthu's attention. And we'll see about fighting this Treekin. You should stay out of it. If we can take out this Treekin without it having done much damage to us, that is a big advantage for us, because that's a high veterancy unit. Okay, let's let's get Dorothy's attention and lure him away. That's it. That's it, this way. This way. That's it. Rika coming in as well. Probably a good time to use that potion of strength. Ah, oh, no, no, you don't go in there. Ready to fight. By all its rough at speed. Good, we are trading really well against the tree kin there. Really, really well. Alright, they got another one going over this way. Okay, so they're not completely out of magic. He just used, what was that, Wissens Wild Form. But I think that was a, a waste of magic for them. Yeah, that was a waste, because this guy just routed anyway. Good. That's a, a big deal, because that would have required quite a few bullets to get rid of. And they're actually better against our infantry than the tree men are. They dish out damage a bit quicker. Okay. That was really good. There's another tree kin sort of making its way over to this arch lector. That could be a good idea to go after it. So let's lure Durthu more over this way. Okay, Carl Franz, keep drawing their missile attack. No one's going after this one. Although if they did, I wouldn't notice it. Ready at speed. This is my 
Thing is, if I land Carl Franz there to try to shoot it, that makes him a sitting duck for all the other units. It's just not worth it. You don't want to trade off your general to take out one missile unit. Okay, go back around. Alright, there's two units of Treekins over there. Just wait for them to spread out a little bit more. Actually, we could probably land on uh, that missile unit there, but there's a bit of a problem. Although, it seems like they're making their way over the, to that Reichsguard. That's not so bad. Should be able to handle that. Because I do want the Reichsguard to keep fighting something, as long as it can actually win. Because it has definitely done its value so far, but we can still get more out of it. I think we're getting fairly close to the army losses, because we really haven't taken that much damage. The missile units are running low on ammo, that's good. I can probably get rid of that straight away. Okay, good. That didn't do anything, though. Got those Treekin over there. Looks good for us. Isolated missile unit. Okay, go for it. Back around over there as well. Two missile units. Good. That guy there's not in great shape, but against these guys here, I don't think he's going to take much damage. Good. Keep drawing them over here. Alright, now let's start. Oh! Oh, shh! Shit! How did I not see that? Oh god, this guy's here. Like I said, I wouldn't notice if they did it, but I think we'll get there if we can just do it without another volley happening, and... Good. Okay. Okay, despite it getting a volley off on us, our right guy there should still be able to win. Oh god, our guy here is in bad shape. Okay, we're in a position where we can fight those tree kin. I just gotta get Carl Franz around over there without dying from all these missiles. Carl Franz, take position. Moving faster. Take the ground. God, this guy here is not gonna last much longer. Quick march. Let us chance battle him. At speed. Good, that one. But yeah, we shouldn't rely on this one doing any more. So let's get them both over here. They're, they're done for this battle, both of them. Now, kill this damn hero. Uh, the Lord, actually. Uh, no, 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 no. Carl Franz, you get shot by these guys. Get out of there. You got Treekin to take out. They can't shoot you. Alright, this guy's gotta get out of here. He's he's done. He's done for this battle. Get him out of here. Alright, it's now time to bring out the rest of our units. I just don't have anything left out of these heroes. They're completely spent. This either is going to work or it isn't. Just gotta play my hand now. Probably best place to stand our ground would be about here, so let's go. Okay, good. Good, taking out those tree kin with ease. That's what we want to see. Bring these guys over. Alright, I'll need to bring Carl Franz, since this one breaks, back around over this way to draw their missile units away from our army. Because it's now time for these guys to take out all the things that Carl Franz can't fight, which is the tree men. But Carl Franz has still got a lot of health left, so we could sh we should try to draw their archer fire away. Okay, it's broken. Let's go. Hand 
Get ready to hold your ground. Okay, these two here, they'll definitely get targeted by the enemy missile units, so we'll put them in the rear. Let the spearmen tank to begin with. Good, that one's broken. So I told you to get away, Carl. Just leave these guys to sort out. Especially Ulrika. Let Ulrika drink its tree blood. Whatever. Yeah, she's getting a bit of regen. Regen out of it. Cool. Alright, well, I think we're almost done. Painstaking bloody battle, but I think we're almost done here. Either that or we're about to get stomped. Bounce pal seems like it's in our favor. I've done everything that I needed to do. I think we got this. No lingering. Take position. Prepare for combat. <gasps> Moving faster. At speed. Take the ground. Moving now. Okay. Battle you ate them too quick, Ulrika. My subjects call. Go. That's it. Get all the attention of their missile units, draw them around the wrong way, let them go towards our army. Except for the missile units, that is. Let's go. Moving faster. Quick march. No lingering. Move out. Formation. March. Take position. At speed. No lingering. Quick march. Moving now. Moving faster. Okay. Go. Take the uh, they're not paying us that much attention. Keep shooting at Carl Franz. Don't advance on our army. Don't want to land? That would not be better for us. Carl Francis, keep uh, as many units as possible to try to keep their attention. There's not that much coming at us, and they'll run out of ammo pretty quick. Oh god, what are you doing there? Move back. Okay, you guys run through here. Oh god. <laughs> Get at those missile units. Yeah, they're, they're not aiming for our spearmen, they're aiming for our bloody missile units because they know... See, the AI is not 100% stupid. They know how much value there is in those units. Oh god, get her out of there. Just wondering if I maybe did this too early. Okay, get Carl Franz back over here. Why are you obstructed? Okay. Yeah, see, they're not trying to shoot at our... Run run at the um, deep woods guys. So I, I want them to stop shooting at our missile units. Okay, you need to come over here now, I think, as well. Let's call friends. Let's keep messing up their archers as much as possible. This is why I wanted to get rid of them. Imagine if we didn't get rid of any of their archers, what they would have done here. We'd just be dead by now. Ulrika, you're not going to be able to tank that for too much longer. Let's send them in there. That guy's still alive. So far, I don't think any of our units have been wiped out. I still account for all of our heroes. Got Dothu chasing after us the wrong way. Good. No, 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 no. That, that spell fucking hurts like crazy. Alright, just forget it. I said I wasn't going to use that unit anymore anyway. Okay, our front line's holding. Keep these guys here in reserve a bit longer. Look, see, yeah, they're trying to shoot at it. Move them back a bit more. Try to shoot that fucker if you wouldn't mind. Right, that one wasn't on fire at all. The others were. Get away from that tree, man. Just draw it away. Stay away from Durthu. It's too strong. 
keep focusing on those fucking missile units. Okay, there's something for you to handle. Run them down. I think that guy's done with this battle. Keep drawing them back. That's it. Good. Look how messed up their formations are. It's exactly what we want. Alright, most of their missile units are now completely gone. Alright, you can get this guy back over here. You can take a break, go back into the reserves. There's the army losses. We did it. Okay, now everybody go kill Durthu. Except for you, you go run down that one. Get rid of these characters. What a fucking slog. There is no way that that was, in order to resolve, a valiant defeat. Everything in this battle went just about perfectly. Like, you're always going to have, like, minor mistakes here and there. And that was still really difficult to pull off. And look how shredded we got as well. This is why you just shouldn't trust what the Order Resolve says. It's way too favorable to the player, even on very hard battle difficulty. Okay. It'll just give you these bullshit Order Resolve results that you really don't deserve. Dirth, it looks like he'll go down. That's good. That's it. Take out those Treemen. It's not that essential that we take this one now. It's only the rank one. What are you doing? Yeah, we definitely want to make sure as many of these units get wiped out as possible so you don't have to deal with them next turn. Because there's a decent chance this guy is like standing in enemy territory. He's not going to get replenishment. Oh yeah, just standing in the middle of Athaloran here. Although this location here looks kind of like Bretonia. Oh, there's that fucking guy. I said I was going to kill him. I guess I'm not. <laughs> you have to kill him in another battle. Stalking piece of crap. No, that's gotten away. Alright, there we go. God, still Pyrrhic victory after all of that. After the mortars absolutely obliterated, like, half their army. After just, with two Pit of Shades, or was it three? We did that much damage. After all the stuffing them about, still like, yeah, you barely won that. But no units got wiped out. So, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it's Pyrrhic victory or heroic victory. And that's another reason I think that the um, the Wood Elves are such a pain in the ass to fight manually, is because they're actually not that good in order resolve. So you're lulled into a false sense of security. It's like the opposite with the Dwarves. The Dwarves are really strong in order resolve, and so you go into a battle where it's a decisive defeat, and then you get a heroic victory because the Dwarves just aren't as good as what the order resolve thinks. But it's the opposite with the Wood Elves, because <laughs> they don't think they're that good, and then you go and fight them and get fucking wrecked. Everybody survived. That's the main thing. Good, you're standing on the edge of... of uh, so you should be um, fine then. <laughs> I'm gonna go take on the Wood Elves. They've only got like one army, right? On legendary difficulty. Oh, you've got military access with them, but you're not actually gonna get replenishment. Right. Oh, wait. Carl Franz gets replenishment neutral territory, but these guys here don't. Right, so you're fine. Okay, the army's actually in pretty good shape. Cool. Uh, you might be able to advance on them. You could definitely take out this one. Where'd that fucking guy go? There, that one there. He really pissed me off in that battle. Uh, if you fight this battle here, you could use this opportunity to heal or these two guys here. But yeah, it's a little bit tricky crossing into Waterfall Palace because of that river here. Um, but if you go here and encamp stance, let me just check this. Yeah, you won't use up all your movement. And that one's not going to be able to run away. If you go into encamp stance, you might be able to hit this the next turn, cross that river. But yeah, you definitely want to get rid of Durthu as quickly as possible. There's something wrong with Durthu in Immortal Empires. He's way too aggressive than what he should be, considering he's isolationist. More like... More like freaking tree Hitler. More like it. <laughs> I'm gonna claim land that doesn't belong to me. <laughs> but I'm just protecting myself. Whatever. Whatever. I don't wanna get into it. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. That was an absolute slog. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye.